Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Hello ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. A food review, that's what it is, it's a food review. Another food review. And it's a KFC review, of all things, believe it or not. It's a KFC review. You know what they say about KFC, right? It's, it's a type of food that you eat while you're outdoors. And uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm here outside. It's a, uh, it's a cooler day. We're in the overcoat for it. And, uh, and you can have all the sounds of the, uh, the great outdoors accompanying, accompanying you while you eat as well. Nonetheless, here's what the, uh, the review is for exactly. It's for their Georgia Gold Chicken. You might be familiar with, you know, last year, early last year, they had the Nashville Hot Chicken. That was a big, big release. I wasn't a big fan of it myself. Um, I wasn't. I wasn't a fan of it. And uh, now they're trying to expand on that, you know, a new type of chicken for the newer, newer year. The Georgia Gold Chicken. It's essentially the same type of thing. It's a chicken that's marinated in this sauce. This sauce, though, is a honey, honey mustard sauce. A honey mustard barbecue sauce, I think they actually called it on the website, which is rather interesting. Um, but it's mostly honey mustard. And uh, that's what it is, and if they can't just call it the honey mustard chicken, no, it's a Georgia Gold chicken, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so, you know, you can get it in a variety of, of things. I'm trying to get this damned thing open, but boy, is that presenting an issue. We'll just try opening it from here instead, I guess. There you go. <coughs> And, uh, you can get it in a variety of, you know, shapes and sizes. You can get it in your, you know, your chicken tenders. You can get it extra crispy chicken. You can get extra, you know, different types of pieces. I got just a standard extra crispy chicken breast. You can see it kind of right there. There's me with the chicken looking at the camera. And, uh, that's what it is. So, as I said, I got the chicken breast. Got the chicken breast. There it is. You can see this giant piece of meat sauce and uh, there's some pickles saddest looking pickles I've ever seen in my life to be honest uh, you can kind of kind of oops. well you can imagine it's the saddest looking bunch of pickles I've ever seen let's focus on how the chicken is how it's it is covered in this sauce pretty well um, you know immersed in the sauce and uh, I'm just going to eat it. They call it finger looking good, so I'm going to eat it with my fingers. And uh, hey, we'll see how it tastes. So, the Georgia Gold Chicken from KFC going in. gonna try all parts of this so we'll bite this little thing here I'll take a few more bites One more bite right here. What a mess. What a mess. Wow, oily. Very oily. Good adjective for that. Oily chicken. That was a piece of oily chicken. 
got it on my coat. I got the the breading on my my coat, no staining or anything like that. All right. What did the uh, the fabulous Georgia Gold Chicken from from KFC taste like exactly? Well, it was a little better than the Nashville Hot Chicken. A little better. The one thing that I remember, and it's been a year since I tried the Nashville Hot Chicken. And there's one thing that resonated with me then, that still resonates with me today when I try this Georgia Gold Chicken. And that is the oiliness of this sauce, you know? Very, very, very oily, that sauce is. Remember, that bothered me immensely, you know, when I tried the Nashville Hot Chicken a year ago. And I said, wow, this sauce is just so oily, it gets all over your fingers, all over your mouth, makes the chicken slide around, makes for very messy eating. And I, it's clear that they use the same oil-based sauce uh, for the Georgia Gold Chicken as well. Now, this sauce, hey, it tastes pretty good, actually. I'm not going to lie. The sauce itself is pretty good. They... They hit the nail right on the head with that honey mustard. Um, calling it honey mustard barbecue, I think, is a pretty silly name. But you do get that nice, you know, you do get that nice mixture of the sweetness as well as that tang, you know, from the, the honey mustard. Um, it's really, though, you can mostly taste it in the breading. And most of the time that breading slides off. You'll eat it and you'll really be able to get that flavor when you eat the breading. But when you're actually eating the chicken itself, it is not embedded into the meat. It's not a baked-in flavor. It does not seep into the chicken and provide that full flavor. So, one problem that you find yourself having is you'll eat the breading. You'll get that nice honey mustard flavor. Then once all the breading slid off and you're eating the chicken, it just tastes like you're eating an average piece of, you know, white meat chicken. The chicken quality is a little bit better than what I was usually familiar with from KFC. It actually, the, the chicken, believe it or not had some moisture to it, had some juiciness to it, I was shocked. You know, this is some of the best chicken I've ever had from KFC. Not saying it's exceptionally good, but it's it's better than most of the trash that I've had from here. Um, and I, I, I mean it because I've never really had a good experience with KFC in a long time. So that's what you need to keep in mind. When you bite into this chicken, when you have it, don't expect the flavor to be uniform throughout going to be most predominant, that Georgia Gold Honey Barbecue flavor, on the edges, on the outside, on the breading, you know, the outer layer of the chicken. The inner, inner parts, though, the actual meat is not going to have that flavor. Keep that in mind. They're not going to say that in the advertisement. They're going to try and make it seem like it's the most flavorful thing you've ever had in your life, but that's not the case, so keep that in mind. Otherwise, though, you know, it's, it's standard. Um, really, I wanted to just assess and analyze the sauce. That's the real unique thing about it here, this Georgia Gold sauce. It's not like the chicken is any different. It's the sauce that's the big selling point here. So I really wanted to analyze that, see how it is, and uh, that's what I've done. But to really wrap it up in short, the chicken is okay. The sauce, though, the most important thing, it's not uniformly distributed. It's most predominant on the, you know, the breading. But the sauce itself does stay true to what they said it would be honey mustard flavor, and they did a good job with that. Now, price-wise, there's the receipt. Price-wise, it was, uh, it's $5.25 for this, you know, just to, came with this one piece of chicken, a, uh, a biscuit, that's what they call it, a biscuit, and, uh, one side, too. You know, I got some mashed potatoes to accompany this fine feast, feast fit for a king from KFC. And, uh, I think it's overpriced. I think this would be more of a, you know, three, four dollar meal. But uh, hey, if they want it to be five twenty-five, then five twenty-five it will be. I think the price could be lowered a little bit, though, personally. And you may be wondering, well, out of ten, what am I going to be rating the Georgia Gold Chicken from KFC? Out of ten, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to rate the Georgia Gold Chicken. I'm going to give it a seven point five out of ten. Um, I think it's just for what it is. It could be better, but it could be worse too, you know, at least they did a good job of the flavoring of that, of that sauce. That's a good job there, at least, and uh, that's why it really has the, the rating that I gave it. That's all I got for you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. I'm your host, Support of the Week. Today's review is for the Georgia Gold Chicken from KFC. Thank you, and take care.